Good morning, everybody, man. The weather's feeling amazing. I didn't even sleep on my AC last night. I slept with my windows open, my blinds open. It was an amazing feeling. I woke up feeling refreshed. I felt energized. And I just wanted to start my morning off and let you guys know, listen, when somebody give you their truth, we got to accept their truth. It may not be necessarily what we want to hear or how we want to hear it, but it's what we need to hear. When a young man or a young lady, a king or a queen is honest with you and give you their reality and let you know in so many ways that you know what? They're not ready for a relationship. They're not ready for love. And you know what? We don't even got to have sex right now. We don't need to have sex right now because I know that if I have sex with you, then you're going to develop these certain type of emotions. You're going to develop these certain type of feelings and you're going to want to take things further than what I'm prepared to take things that far with. And so I don't want to go there with you, but you know what? We deny their truth and we deny their reality and we insist on trying to be with them anyway because we all have a bit of selfishness inside of us. We just want what we want, how we want it and when we want it, right? We see this beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, handsome, whatever king and queen in front of us And we just got to have a piece of them We just want to be in a world We just want to show them what we're made of And how valuable we are And if they just give us an opportunity that they'll be happy with us But you know what? That's not reality. The reality of it is, is if they're expressing that they're not really ready for us or they're not really ready for anything, regardless of our opinion of their age or what they're prepared for or whatever the situation may be, guess what? They're telling us that they're telling you that they're not ready, that they don't want to be with you, that they're not ready to be with you. So guess what you got to do? You got to fall back. As much as you don't want to, as cool as this person is, as down as this person is, as beautiful as she is, you got to fall back. And you got to let this individual be that individual and let them grow in their own time, in their own space, in their own way. And when they're ready to seek or to be found, and when they're ready to love, and when they're ready to commit, and they're ready to be faithful, they'll let us know. But do not insist on having what you want to have with someone. And don't, so, don't show signs of frustration. You can't because this is what happened. We turn people off when we show signs of frustration just because they don't want what we want. That turns them off. That upsets them because that would upset me as an individual. If I'm being 100 with you and I'm being real with you and I'm sharing my life with you and I'm giving my experiences to you and I'm just letting you know that I'm not ready for this right now and you get mad at me and you want to cop an attitude with me, that doesn't show me a queen. That doesn't show me this beautiful young lady in front of me. That shows me somebody who doesn't really give a damn about how I feel and somebody that just want what they want. Now, I know that I've said this plenty of times before, but I can't stress this enough. We got to pay attention to what the other person really want and not allow ourselves to fall in that trap or jump off of that cliff because we don't know what's at the bottom. All right. And everything at the bottom ain't always that good, love. And it's not always going to be capable for us to come back up to the top with that individual. So be careful who you jumping off clips for. Be careful who you sitting up there trying to make a way for and trying to force and push the issue. Because often what happens, regardless if we want to admit it or not, this often happens way too much. OK, it happens is that. We force the situation. We make that person want to be with us. We give ourselves to this individual. And we have sex anyway, and we say that we can handle it. And then when we start developing these emotions and these feelings, and we just start gathering ourselves with this individual, and they look back at us and told us, oh, I told you from the beginning. I ain't want no relationship, and I ain't trying to have nothing serious. We get an attitude. We hurt. We feel like we use. We feel like they owe us some. We're entitled to something more than just some excuse. But the reality is, is that they kept their truth with us from the beginning. We just denied it and we ignored it because of what we wanted. So we got to humble ourselves and we got to love ourselves and we got to prepare ourselves and we got to be okay with ourselves with being alone and stop trying to force something. Listen, y'all have a blessed, beautiful Thursday, man. I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful night last night. Slept good. Wake up, man. Going to work, eating that breakfast, getting these babies off to school. You know what? We only got one more day to Friday and we're going to be able to enjoy this weekend and get out there and celebrate birthdays and holidays and whatever it is that you got going on in your country, wherever you are in the world. Again, I appreciate everybody logging in, reposting, sharing, watching my videos and pushing this SXJ project. Good morning to the world. I love every single one of you guys. All right.